Hey, what's going on? Um, this video is more for uh, John Bookworms, but um, if the if the shoe fits, <laughs> as they say, feel free to wear it. Um, I think I think a few of us out here um, know no stress um, and also unfortunately know about circumstances that are are outside of our control um, the trick is the trick is to uh, to deal with those circumstances uh, as well as you can but it can be tricky for sure um, you know you, you end up walking it seems like for me you end up walking that that tightrope of you know caring for yourself and the things that you want versus the people that you love and care about and it's this fine line that you sometimes have to tiptoe across and the whole thing is painful and um for me regardless of my intentions i i feel as if i just mess it up in the end anyhow uh But I, I found out something from from uh, from myself and and my experiences in that um, it's not exactly or necessarily what what life is about. Um, you get tired, you get beat up, and um, and it's easy to forget that that life is about present tense and it's about these moments. Um, when when something's in the back of your mind whispering that a moment's gone or a moment will never come again, um, those are just things that, that distract from the moment. And then when you actually do get a moment of blessing again, when you're actually getting what it is that, that you thought you wanted, uh, either time with the family, time with friends, um, because there there's there's so much baggage from the past or baggage from the stress of the future that that you can't enjoy the moment anymore and it's almost like uh like an evil spirit over you you know for me the trick is you know how how do i get to where i can just just focus on where life is um because life isn't Life isn't in the past, and it isn't in the future. It's right now. Um, that's why I always tell tell you as you watch my videos, I really appreciate your time because you are electing in a moment that you can do anything. You you clicked on my little video and and uh, and are are here. Um, the solution for me when when things are bogging me down is in is in how i view philosophy in life um i see everything i equate everything to physical fitness and this is going to sound a little weird but the mind is a muscle um your emotions your spirit is like a muscle in that in order for it to be strong in order for it to handle um resistance and turmoil it does need to be exercised but it also needs to be taken care of you know like any muscle it can be strained it can be hurt um but by by adapting that philosophy of uh of physicality to to my emotions and stuff you know i've been able to to recognize when i've been a little bit beat up and i can either uh uh you know treat the the injured part, be it my spirit or or my mind, and then then respond accordingly. Because if you let's say you strain your bicep really bad, you're not going to do curls the next day for fun, right? You're going to be icing your muscle down. Um, you're going to be avoiding that type of workout, only doing what is necessary. You're going to be getting a lot of rest and um, taking um, taking that approach. Taking that approach helps me, um, but again, I'm 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 very blessed. Um, 
Now this is a this is a video response to John, and um, you were wondering about you know somebody somebody to love and somebody to love you back. Um, it's funny uh, because everybody speaks. There's a book on it called Love Languages, uh, but everybody speaks a different love language, meaning that the way that I would express endearment towards you is different than the way that you express endearment towards me. And um, this book gets into the finer points of you recognizing what it is that I interpret as love as you're trying to express it to me. You know, kind of bringing love to another person on their own terms. It's, it's, it's a tricky, tricky process believe it or not. Uh, but I think it's, I think it's one worth studying, uh, because there's so much happiness that, that, uh, you know, when you're with a, with a friend or somebody really close and you're able to actually, uh, express to them what it is you're trying to express and they're able to understand it, it's amazing. And I, I think it's a level of communication and understanding that, that few achieve it. I feel special when I, when I happen to achieve it. Um, you know, and, and lately much of that is, is focused towards, towards my child in that, um, you know, try to, try to express love to a, to a person who's, who's just beginning to understand that people can communicate anyway. Um, but there's, there's nothing more joyful than to um, than to be able to speak or to try to speak or to become fluent in the love language of uh, of your own child. So, yeah. Uh, okay, the rest of this video is for John alone. Everybody else can just sh shut the video the hell off. I'll give you a moment. Shut the video off. It's for this is John now. Shut the video off. Just John. Just bookworms. Okay, just, great, now it's just me and you. Yeah, dude, I knew you weren't a booktuber. Um, how do I put this? Um, let me tell you a story, John. You fucker. <laughs> are, you, are you okay enough? Are you strong enough for me to be able to call you a fucker? Be like, yeah, I'm a fucker. <laughs> let me get this cup of coffee here. Um, when I was in middle school... Uh, I, I was taught, uh, from one of my teachers who was actually, I think my earliest mentor, um, Mr. Farrell, he, uh, he introduced us to the concept of a Renaissance man. And I was fascinated by these people. And it wasn't even a, you know, you, everybody hears the term jack of all trades, master of none, um, a renaissance man was not quite like that, right? I mean, these guys mastered every single task they set about. Uh, uh, poetry, sword play, uh, fucking art. Don't, uh, don't sweat. Don't sweat pigeonholing yourself into the, the book tube thing. Um, I consider myself now you know, considering yourself to be such a grand title as, as Renaissance man. It's what I categorize myself as, and it's what I categorize you as, and, and uh, you know, shall not be infringed out here, and a few of the other folks. You may have noticed that a lot of the guys that do gun videos, well, not a lot of them, but the ones that I've stayed close with, they'll be talking about gun videos and stuff like that, and then boom, all of a sudden you'll see them playing a guitar, you know, they're not, uh, that in my mind and in my understanding, uh, saying like, wow, this, this is a, this is a person who is a, almost a, a poet at heart. And, um, I think that is, is, uh, the essence of a Renaissance man is the, uh, a person who, who partakes in the poetry of life, um, who is able and has the capacity to express it. Um, but it's tough. You know, not everybody's doing the same thing, right? So, um, if I could give you a piece of advice, you were talking about getting a fresh start. Um, 
I would think, and this is obviously what I've done, so naturally I'm going to give you the advice of doing what I do. Um, I keep the channel, I leave everything up, and I talk about what it is that, that comes to mind. I'm not worried about trying to fit into a group because different groups are different things. I mean, you may you may have uh, you may have noticed with the booktube thing is there there's almost an established structure, and it's like okay, this is how we're going to be reviewing books. This is how we're going to comprehend everything. This is how we're going to communicate with each other. Um, and there's people that need that, you know. And even when there's people that don't need that, um, oh wow, look at that! <laughs> Got to eat your spinach, man. I'm up to uh I'm up to two forty. Yeah. Six three two hundred and forty. Uh, I gotta I still gotta slim down a little bit before September. You know, 'cause part of part of bulking up you end up with a little bit of little 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 fat here and there. Anyway, we're talking about something else. Um freaking um like you and I, I don't think we would need per se the structure of booktube or whatever it is that they do now I don't I don't know um how they do it exactly cuz I've never really gotten into it but I don't require that structure I don't think to to put up a great book review from what I'm told um you know I think my book reviews are are so so but but people seem to enjoy them um same thing for yours your your book reviews are outstanding um my thought is um if I would be able to and, and permitted to see any type of um, uh, content from what you put up, uh, I would just want to see it all, John. I, I'd like to see, I'd like to see the combination of, uh, you know, tactical gearhead meets lazy gorillas meets bookworms, and and it's a wonderful thing, you know, you know. I, I'd like to see the the uh, I don't know, man. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, like, uh, <laughs> tactical gearhead goes to the library, man. Uh, in your, in your flectarn camo and, and everything else. I, I wouldn't worry about, I mean, what, what's really the point of us trying to pigeonhole ourselves into a, a specific niche, into a specific audience? It doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah, the, the view counts, uh, suffer, but, and I, I don't know. People have the option; they either watch it or they don't. Um, the the people for my channel that I've noticed that that watch everything that I put out, God bless them. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, there, there's something really cool, and there's people that get it, and and the people that have gotten it all along the way. Um, there's some real good. Oh, excuse me. Mm, some real good relationships right there. So anyway. That's my advice, uh, not that, you know, <laughs> and I, I just wanted to say, hey, dude, and I've been thinking about you, um, yeah, uh, if I had a, uh, if I had a mystical magic wand that I could wave and, um, make things better for you, I would, I would do it, but, I mean, no such thing exists, um, back to the physical fitness thing it's a lot like doing pull-ups you know nobody can do them for you in order to be strong but if you're injured then may not be the time to 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 do pull-ups you know when you're injured is the time for for the rest and for identifying the injury and um, for caring for it before you get back to making yourself strong once more so, in summation, John, you're on my mind, and um, if you if you need anything, you know how to contact me uh, through our mutual friend. Uh, feel free. Um, and that is that. All right, y'all take care, and we'll see you soon. Well, not y'all, because of course, it's only supposed to be John watching the video at this point. <laughs> you know what would have been cool is if, if I somehow had the computer ability to where it was like only your account was able to watch the video from that part forward, that would have been badass. All right. So anyway, John, I'll, I'll see. I, I always I always uh, look forward to what you put up on there. As long as you keep it under 
under like five, like your videos that are shorter than five minutes for some reason seem to be the best ones. Uh, it's almost like you're trying to squeeze everything into a small, I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You make good vids, man. You make good vids. All right. I'll see you later, John. Keep putting some shit up and uh, don't be so hard on yourself, man. Seems to me that uh, you got plenty of other people that are being hard on you without you adding to the group. All right. See you later.